I did miss this purely because I was trying to record. <laughs> so this is the first ever MacBook that I have ever owned. Look how thin that is. I mean, it's not the lightest laptop, but I believe these MacBook Pros aren't light anyway because of what's in this bad boy. So this is the MacBook Pro 2020 with the M1 chip. I am not gonna lie, I have no idea what the M1 chip does. <laughs> So, all in all, I still don't know what it means. Honestly, Google it. This MacBook does not come with USB ports, SD ports, anything like that. It literally just has a small, two small little charger ports. What I did do, I went onto Amazon, good old Amazon, and I ordered myself a USB adapter or SD card adapter. Um, so I got one that looks like this, um, but then that actually came as a USB, which still can't go in the MacBook. So I then ordered a load of these little mini adapters that come like this. So then all you do is you literally add that in and then pop that into the side of your MacBook like that. So I also ordered a little mini Starware one which is just an SD adapter, which comes literally like this and you can plug this directly into the MacBook. So just to show you the difference, it literally just looks like that. So anyway, let's get on with the customization. I'm gonna show you how I do what you've just saw, which is all of the folder setups, um, icons, customization of the background, what I use, what websites I use, and basically how I set it up to begin with. So first off, I am going to show you how I have customised my icons of my folders. As you can see on the left there, I've got really nice customised icons, which is kind of in with all of the theming that I'm going for. Um, I've left one of them blue, like the normal Apple uh, icon that it comes with, just so I can show you exactly how I'm going to change one. And yeah, first off, you are going to want to go into Google and type in whatever image that you want. So I just typed in pink folder icon transparent. Not all of them come transparent. So basically what you'll need to do is save your image onto your desktop, into your downloads, whatever it is. Uh, you can rename it, do whatever you want. And then after that, you're going to go onto a website called Photo Scissors. Once you've gone onto Photo Scissors, you'll basically upload that image, pop that onto their website, You'll then upload that, it will open up like this. You'll just make sure that it is in transparent mode and then download that onto your MacBook. Once it is downloaded onto the MacBook, it will open up into a separate page, which you'll see in a second. And all you will need to do is press Command A and it will bring a box around it. Command C, go over to your folder, right click, get info, double click the blue folder and press command and V. And that will basically paste your icon into that folder and you've then got your customized folders looking really nice and all the same. And it just, I just think it looks so much better like that. So next you're gonna go to the Apple icon and click about this Mac and then displays and get your dimensions of your display. This is to create the personalised background that I've got on my MacBook. You'll then go over to your internet, Safari, and go into canva.com. And you can actually create a customised design with the exact dimensions in. So I just pop that in and that opens up a blank page like that. And here's just one that I've been messing around with, which is the one that I have at the minute. Um, I've just changed it a little bit to black. You can personalise these in every way. Um, and they also come with templates that you can use as well, so that's really handy. So once you've downloaded it, make sure it's PNG, and then you can go over to the Apple icon top left, System Preferences, click on Desktop and Screensaver, and then just add that in. Um, you can make it change, anything like that. 
At the bottom, I'm now just going to customise the dock bar. So I've deleted any apps that I don't want to actually come up and I've also made it so that it goes away whenever I hover over it or don't hover over it. So I did that by going to the dock and menu bar and just ticking that it automatically hides and shows the dock. And then I also just made it a decent size so that it didn't look like too in your face or anything. After that, so basically I just organised what I actually wanted on the dock bar. So I made sure I've got my iMovie, garbage band, photos, everything like that. You can obviously custom it, customise it exactly how you want. And then I'm going to go back to system preferences and customise the trackpad next. So this bit, I just kind of left this how it was because I don't want to mess around with this bit too much. Um, so I'm going to leave that as it is. But then I'm also going to go to the touch bar and customise the strip. So what I did for this bit, I actually made sure the launch pad was in my track bar touch bar should I say <laughs> and then that the sleep button was also on the touch bar as well you can then also go back to system preferences and dock and menu bar and you can automatically hide and show the menu bar along the top as well I'm just going to leave that showing for now because I kind of like seeing the time but I guess you can kind of do whatever you want with that one Next, I'm just going to show you that I customised my Google Chrome and Safari pages. This is really simple and easy. You probably already know how to do this. But you're just going to go bottom right on Safari and just add in a background image. So you literally just add it in, go over to your documents, downloads and pop in the image that you want. I've kept mine all the same just so it flows throughout. And then I've done the same with Google Chrome as well. Um, bottom right click customize you can do shortcuts you can do theming and colors so I've just kept it all the same um, so it all kind of runs nicely and smoothly so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this please give me a like or a comment or do subscribe to my channel if you want to um, I'm trying to reach a goal of 1,000 subscribers this year so that would be amazing if you would like to join us and yeah I will see you on the next video